All right, so moving on. We'll be having another speech, and this time it will be about the personal and political life, which will be presented to you by Ramesa Hafiz. Uh, and this will be done through a video format. Assalamu alaikum, Middle Pakistaniel. Welcome back to my vlog. Today is the 25th of December, 2020. And guess what we'll be talking about? You guessed it right, Qaeda Azam. Today is Qaeda Azam's birthday. Happy birthday, our beloved Qaeda Azam. We all know of how hard Qaeda Azam worked for the struggle of Pakistan. But you probably don't know about his personal life. So that's what we'll be talking about today. Actually, Aku Patea Unka Asalam Chata Jiha Muhammad Ali Dina. But he's more popularly known as Qadi Azam and Father of Nation Baba Ekong. He was born on 25th December 1876 in, in, which was, in Karachi, which was then part of India. He was the eldest of seven children. His father's name was Junabai Punta and his mother's name was Mitibai. After marrying, Junabai Punta and Mitibai moved to Karachi and rented an apartment, which was the second floor of a three story house called Wazir Mansion. And that's where Kadazan was born. Wazir Mansion is now a national monument in Pakistan and is in a mini museum. He received his early education in Sindh, Sindh Madrasa and Christian Mission High School. In his early age, he was more interested than his father, in his father's horses than his study. His father had a large business, and after Qadazim finished his school life, his father's business associate, Sir Frederick Croft, offered Qadazim an apprenticeship in his business in England. He was his mother's favorite, and of course she didn't want him to go. After he insisted, his mother allowed him to go only on one condition, that he marries before he goes to England. He was married to anybody in 1892. In 1893, he sailed off to England, but unfortunately, nearby died soon after he left. His mother also passed away when he was in England. Although he was planning to go to England for a business experience, he decided to be a barrister. He therefore joined Lincoln's Inn, one of the legal societies that prepared students for the bar. After completing his formal studies, he studied the British political system and frequently visited the House of Commons. You probably don't know that he was interested in theatre, and he actually got a job as an actor. But because of his father's insistence, he decided to quit before he even started. After becoming a barrister, he moved back to India and established his practice and soon became very popular. His immaculate looks and his handsome clothes caught, and his intelligence caught the eye of Britain's eyes. A young daughter of a multimillionaire and a Parsi businessman, and against her family's wishes, she was very determined and decided to marry in 1918, they had a daughter called Dina. As she converted to Islam, her family cut off all of their relationships with her. Unfortunately, their marriage lasted only for 10 years, as Qadar was very busy with his political commitments. Rathen Bai died a year later, in 1929. It is said that Qadazm cried profusely at her funeral. After Ratan Bai's death, Qadazm's sister, Fatima Jinnah, supported him. 
Towards his political struggle to get Pakistan, he became very ill. But he kept it a secret and kept working very, very hard. As a fruit of his struggle, we got Pakistan on the four, on 14th August, 1947. Unfortunately, he died on 11 September, 1948, due to tuberculosis. I can't help but notice the similarities between the founder of Pakistan, Qadazm, and our Pakistan Prime Minister, Imran Khan. One gave us Pakistan, and the other will fulfill his dreams, inshallah. We love you, Qadazm. Pakistan's in the... Thank you, Ramesa, for that wonderful speech on Qadi Azim's personal and political life. I hope you learned something from that speech because I definitely did, and also because it may be tested in the Kahoot. And I really appreciate you taking time out of your day or night, whenever you recorded this, to get dressed, to prepare, and to basically put yourself out here. And I would also like to say thank you to uh, Brother Nadir who helped film that video. And he's also uh, the president of PTI Australia. So thank you as well for taking time out of your very busy schedule.